You know that it's fun to go out Except I never leave my house I'm either at work or home And it seems kind of pathetic just drinking alone So if you got nothing going on Have some drinks with Ron You cheer stealing bastard Look at this shit Look what I'm dealing with he thinks he owns the fucking place. That's your chair. Your chair's over there. I put a blanket in your chair so that it's nice and warm. This has been established on this show more than once. That is your chair. I know you're handsome. That doesn't change anything. Now you get. You go in your chair. Wait for it. Uh, yeah, 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 nice try. Uh, the shit I put up with. Anyway, <laughs> welcome to Drinks with Ron. I'm Ron, and I actually had a drink floating around here somewhere. I guess I didn't really need it then. Uh, but, might as well tell you what it was. It's a new drink I'm calling the Ronzo. It's uh, whiskey, of course. Uh, ginger ale, so it's about two uh, ounces of whiskey, uh, six ounces of ginger ale, and about two ounces of cranberry. So that's the Ronzo, and uh, this particular one is actually the summer Ronzo. Same drink, but before I made it, I muddled uh, mango in the bottom. So uh, there you go. It's uh, pretty tasty. I enjoy it. And you won't be watching me drink it, because I, I don't happen to have it with me right now. I left it over there. Ah, crazy. I uh, haven't got an episode done in a while. My computer crashed about two, three weeks ago. So I've steadily been getting everything back up and running. Uh, I finally reinstalled my video editing program last week. I have all my audio stuff still isn't back in, so it's... A long way to go and I just haven't felt like it but I digress uh, been a lot going on um, had a big trip for my birthday it was last weekend and I had somebody write me on Facebook and say is there gonna be a drinks with Ron birthday episode and I thought well that's not a bad idea assuming you know you're not in any hurry to actually get it on my birthday um, so yeah I uh, Got, got some great gifts, uh, not the least of which was a trip up to Madison with uh, Capital Brewery Tour, um, gift certificate to the Old Sugar Distillery, and a uh, gift certificate over to the Wine and Hop Shop. I'm going to start making my own beer. Uh, I've mentioned before I was doing the wine. Uh, two gallons turned out really good. Five gallons turned out borderline undrinkable um, still not even quite <laughs> quite done fermenting I think there's still some yeast in there so I took them and converted them into so far three gallons of sangria one I'm sure will be destroyed tonight uh, two will be destroyed tomorrow night and they're all pretty good one was an Olive Garden recipe uh, one was uh, another recipe I got online and the third one, I made up myself, so I call it Ron Gria. Of course, got a little bit of whiskey in there. But what else would it have? But uh, I didn't get to stop at the Yahara, Yahara Bay Distillery in Madison because they apparently weren't open on weekends. I don't know what the fuck that's about. Everybody likes to drink on Monday and Tuesday night. Nobody drinks on the weekends wrong with you people so uh, I didn't get to go but I did get a little bottle for my birthday this is the Yahara Bay whiskey I've never had it out of Madison of course the technique you know it by now open your mouth breathe through your mouth don't sniff the whiskey and singe off your nose hairs just breathe and let the flavor flow that's pretty sweet uh, yeah, 
uh, sweet is the exact word I would use. And uh, an added bonus, since I don't have access to the Subway ice anymore, I actually have decent ice at my own house because my whole house water filter, which has been clogged, brown, and horrendous, it, it was last replaced like 10 years ago, if that gives you any idea. I've had two guys trying to, to get it done. I tried. We had the fucking wrench, the specific filter wrench, no dice, and I got Buddy to come over and bail my ass out, for which I owe him greatly. And when I uh, finish my batch of beer, I'm pretty sure there will be some coming his way. So uh, I have my own ice that doesn't smell uh, vaguely like sewage. And, uh, and I'm going to enjoy some whiskey with it. I love watching the, the water melt and make the cool wavy lines in the alcohol. And uh, that's what's going on right now. I'm enjoying the shit out of it. You gotta, it's like an ice cream sandwich. You got to wait a little bit for it to melt before it's just right. That's, uh, that's a shot of whiskey for me. It's like ice cream sandwich. Just wait for it to be just right before I dive into that bad boy. So while I'm waiting, I'll uh, give you a little rundown. We took the Capitol Brewery Tour in Madison. That was cool. We got two little uh, drinking glasses to sample beers. Four fill-ups on the little tiny glasses. I had a bourbon barrel aged beer because of course I had to try that, um, which was tasty. It's called Eternal Flame because it was brewed with fucking habanero. I'm not sure why. Uh, somebody would do such a thing, but a little tiny glass this big I drank before the tour and after the tour was done I still had heat so it was <laughs> If you would have taken the habanero out it would have it would have been perfection uh, Still not too bad. I, I think if you drank a pint of it, you'd probably have heartburn Shit your pants something. I don't know, but uh, distillery tour was cool or brewery tour was very cool um I enjoyed it. Uh, old school copper. Uh, it's awesome. I won't go on and on about that. I did get a few things from there, uh, including my wall mount bottle opener, which I'm going to have to install so I can. And I'm going to put a little busket underneath to catch them. This is the kind of guy I am. Uh, and from there, uh, we went to the Old Sugar Distillery. Where I got this, sorghum whiskey. Uh, I probably never mentioned it on the show, but I have a good love of sorghum. And when I found out that there was a whiskey made with sorghum, well, that was like double whammy of goodness as far as I was concerned. Um, the rum's made with beet sugar, all like, uh, this is right here, all local ingredients, small batch craftsmanship, and they ain't messing around. They got barrels all over, like, the room where you go to drink and buy a drink, there's just barrels all over. The still's right in the room. It's awesome. Uh, I got the flight, which was five little glasses, which I got my own with the flight, little glass. They put about a shot, I would guess, in each one, and I got no help from my wife. So five shots I had to power down before I went to go eat. Um, and on the nose, when I first got them, I just thought, man, that's raw alcohol. Like, it smelled a little kerosene-y, and I was a little nervous. But once I got my ice, let it melt, um, they were all fantastic. I wanted to try some of their, they have fancy man drinks, you know, muddled up and shaken, whatever. Um, I wanted to try one for the sake of it, but after I was about to put away five shots, in uh, about a half hour. I didn't figure a drink to top it off was probably the way to go. Uh, but great place to stop. Definitely do the flight, get the glass. So I got the little bottle. I will be uh, trying that on one of the next episodes. It's fantastic. It's a fantastic weekend. And uh, we had a hotel in Verona. It's right by the Farm and Fleet. There was a denim sale last week. Uh, I'm sorry you missed it. It's already over. But a brand name, all brand name denim was on sale. Sorry. It's too late now. You can't get it. Life's not fair. Sometimes. 
but whiskey is good and it looks like it's hit that ice cream sandwich melty point of goodness and I'm about to hunker down on this bastard. Give it the chew. I don't normally drink whiskeys. Usually for me it's bourbons. I said at the uh, old sugar distillery, I uh, had to make that exception. And with the O'Hara Bay, well, once again make that exception. But uh, it's exceptional. Um, and man, pretty good. Tasty. It's not as sweet as I initially thought it would be, but uh, a little woody. Very good. Not overly dark, so I don't think they're charring the shit out of the barrels. Nice light char. That's what uh, Old Sugar Distillery said too. They got like a medium light char on the barrels, so they don't age them real long. They use tiny little barrels, so it doesn't take. The whole thing's about volume in relation to surface area on the barrel. So like a 55 gallon barrel takes forever to age because there's so much liquid compared to the surface area. These small little guys they had, and he said uh, months was all it took to age them out where they wanted them. So uh, I'll have to bust into the Queen Jenny and there's definitely a story behind that. They tie it all into Madison. It's uh, not necessarily bootlegger, but she uh, ran speakeasies in Madison, was like the famous, the famous one. So uh, yes sir. I think I'm starting to ramble, so uh, I'm going to polish this off, shut this episode down, and uh, maybe tonight I'll power through another episode. <laughs> but for Drinks with Ron, I'm Ron, with a warm sense of well-being.